Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I would like to welcome you guys to Epicness. Yes, this is episode one of my Q&A series. Oh my God, you guys don't understand what I have been through today. Check it out. A lot has happened in the last few hours. The first thing, we've come up with a name and a hashtag and a day that I will be doing these Q&As on. I am aiming to do these Q&As every Sunday. All right. Now, I know that there's no football season, so you guys have no excuses. There's no football going on. You guys going to get these Q&As. Now, secondly, we have come up with a hashtag. Hashtag Ask IKC has blew everybody out the water. So for now and on, if you're on Twitter and you want to ask me a question for this Q&A series, you have to have the hashtag Ask IKC. Now, another thing. I was talking to my boy Anto the Boss earlier today, and he put me on to this website that just got my editing, my presentation game on fleek oh my god i'm just so happy but look it without further ado i welcome you guys to my q a series all right so today's first question comes from nba fan 63 he asked why ipod king carter okay so i'm guessing that he wants to know why i named myself ipod king carter so here's the story you're only going to get this once back in high school right I went to a party of one of my best friends, which recently passed away, you know, rest in peace to KC. But I went to a party with him to one of his friends that happened to go to a new school I attended. And this school is called Strathaven High School. So if any of you guys are from the Delaware County area, you know about that school. Top notch. So I went to the party, right? And I had my iPod Classic on me. If anybody knows what the iPod Classic on, you know the joint I used to have, the little scroll joint, you know what I'm saying? It used to go click, click, click when you scrolled it. I had one of those. So I went to the party, and the party was okay. It wasn't it wasn't crazy, but people started to leave, and, you know, they was like, man, I'm out of here. And the chick was like, oh, what am I going to do? The music isn't popping. And I'm like, well, you know, I could plug up my iPod and play one of my playlists. And ever since then, I was known as the iPod King because that night I got the party jumping. I had music from the 80s, music from the 90s. And of course, you know, the early 2000s on what we listen to, you know what I'm saying? Like 2001, 2002, stuff like that. So, you know, I was rocking in that joint. And ever since then, they just called me the iPod King because I was known for having music on me all the time. I'm talking about hard drives on hard drives on hard drives. I mean, this is before 120 gig hard drives on a computer. Like, this is back in the day type time. Like, I had it on lock. And, of course, Carter is my last name. So, if you put it together, iPod King Carter. Today's second question is, what inspired you to start YouTube? This is funny because when it comes to inspiration, I think of something like so far-fetched. Like, oh, my God, I want to do that when I grow up. But this wasn't one of those situations. What really inspired me to do YouTube was one of my friends, Rez314. I'm not sure if his YouTube channel is still up, but back in the day, back in NBA 2K10, my crew, and NBA 2K11, my crew days, me and him, we just was going at it with uploading highlights to YouTube, showing how badass we were on crew, and just killing folks. And ever since then, you know, you guys kind of kept telling me, hey, we want to hear your voice. Hey, how about you upgrade your camera? Hey, how about you get a new recorder? And, you know, I guess the inspiration really came from him initially giving me that push, like, hey, hop on YouTube. And then you guys just said, hey, we want more. You are dope. So I guess I can say that you guys inspire me. All right. So today's third question is from Christian Jerkin. I hope I said that right iPod, what is your favorite thing about YouTube? My favorite thing about YouTube is the fact that you can be entertained by all walks of life. Now, when I first started coming on YouTube, I was watching nothing but rap battles, music videos, booty shaking, twerking. This is before the term twerking 
even came out. I made just straight up booty shaking videos and that's all i was into i was never really into gaming videos and everything like that until my boy rez put me on and we just start uploading our footage i never even typed in the word gaming on youtube until 2010 so you know what i love about youtube is just the fact that you could be entertained by nowadays skits uh, you know, people like Jimmy Kimmel and stuff like that have their little updates and fouling and all that. Like, it's all different kinds of walks of life that you can be entertained by. You can be entertained by shocking, absurd videos, world star, all kinds of stuff, man. So, me, myself, I like to be entertained by, you know, comedy and rap battles, man. That's what I love. I love me some smack, man. Smitty! You know, I'm not. I'm a chill. I'm a chill. All right. Today's fourth question comes from a Javon Miller. He asks, when are you going to start the mock career for David Carter? Okay, what he is referring to is the stat sheet stuffer. And I have a big update on that. Check it out. The trade deadline is now over in the NBA. And a couple players are being bought out of their contracts, being moved over to other teams and picked up out of, you know, the free agency pool. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting till all of the NBA transactions are done for the second part of the season, probably I'll give it about another week to another two weeks. And once that's done and 2K staff updates that roster, I'm going to use that roster to create the stat sheet stuff. For now, this is the thing. I have another update about that. This year, I am not going to use face scan for the stat sheet stuff. For. I don't want David I. Potkin Carter and the stat sheet stuff for to the look exactly alike so this year i'm going to be doing a creation pool where i'm actually going to be getting pull codes and all kinds of stuff you know if he's going to have braids i'm going to ask everything from you guys braids eye color hair skin tone all that i'm going to let you guys choose all of that so i'll have more information on that probably about next week the last question from youtube is going to be from the walk 71 that's what i think he's trying to get at it says, is there any update on sports commentator March Madness for 2015? So, let me talk to you guys about sports commentator March Madness. Last year, we hosted it on Game Face Studios' YouTube channel. And the year before that, we hosted it on my channel. Now, I had a five-year plan for this commentator March Madness. I wanted to host it on my channel, Game Face channel, so other dudes can eat. Uh, Wiza channel, X Chase Money channel, and regular Dave 2975 channel. Now, this year, I wanted to probably host it on Wiza or Dave channel because Chase is doing so much with, you know, both of his channels right now. But come to find out, these guys don't want to do it. So we're not going to blame me. We're going to blame Wiza. We're going to blame Chase. And we're going to blame Dave. Okay? Do not blame me. But what I will say is, if push comes to shove for 2016, it's going to make a return whether or not they will be involved in it. So I, me, this guy, promise you, if you are up and coming commentator in 2016, you will have a chance in Sports Commentator March Madness. All right. I can promise you that. All right. Now that I've answered all the YouTube questions for today, it's time to answer those Twitter questions. The first question from Twitter is from at your underscore my underscore son with two N's. He asks, when you have on the court coach, do you just press square to make your teammate shoot? Yeah. Next question is from B Castro 155. He asks, can you spare some VC? Okay. So check this out. The way that my VC is set up. That's like my life savings. When you guys see all that VC up there, that is all the VC I have ever had in NBA 2K15. That's my life savings. It's just, I can't put it in a CD. I can't put it in a money marketing account. It has to be up there in my checking, you know what I'm saying, for the world to see. And no, I'm sorry, I cannot spare any of my VC. But what I can tell you is, in order to get yourself some VC, download that my NBA 2K app. Also, play my career but what you want to do is foul out of every game on hall of fame if you foul out of every game on the hall of fame you'll get vc for not even playing a minute you know what i'm saying you can just foul out easy all right so as you can see we didn't have many twitter questions this week but next week i know we will have a bunch since the new hashtag is out but let's hop into these voicemails yeah what's up ikc 
my question is, how did you become the Superman of YouTube? Hopefully one of these days we'll get in another commercial, dog. Peace. <laughs> All right, so that message was from Nick the Bulls fan. Now, for security reasons, I will never put anybody's phone number on these videos. I will keep it totally confidential, but uh, I will say that... Uh, the reason I became the Superman of YouTube is because I was always out here willing to save anybody that was in any trouble. I was always, you know, trying to lend a hand to help other commentators and everything. You know, it's been plenty of commentators and they'll tell you themselves, you know, unless they're too prideful that I've helped them out in some form or fashion. You know, always, you know, I'm, I always put the community first. And that's uh, why I started to name myself the Superman of YouTube. Plus, I'm a big Superman fan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, where, where Ted at right there? Yeah. I'm a big Superman fan. Yo, I'm Paul King Carter, bro. I'm a big fan. And I wanted to know, um, when when do you, like, ever stream? Or, like, do you have a day for streaming? And if you could add me, I left it in the comment section on your new Q and A video. My name is Lil Jr. Kills You Thirty One. So please add me. Please add me, bro. Deuces, I Paul King Carter. All right. So uh, you asked me about streaming. I do stream. I stream frequently on Twitch. I do have an MLG account as well. Both links are in the description. But I'm also going to start streaming on YouTube again very soon. I'll probably do once a week on YouTube, maybe once a week on MLG, and probably as much as I can on Twitch. But uh, as it goes for adding you, I will add you. So I will go back to the YouTube comment sections, look for the name that you just told me, and I will add you to my friends list. Thanks a lot for leaving a voicemail. What about you, man? I just left a question before, but I had another like important question. I'm here, like, trying to start building my YouTube channel. What advice would you give somebody for starting a YouTube channel? Any tips or anything? Um, thanks for answering. All right, so to answer that question, I'm going to have to say that I have a lot of tips. And for somebody that's just starting out, I want to let you know that the quality of your videos is definitely something that you want to have a great hold on. So you want to have a Elgato game capture. You want to have a great audio mic like a snowball or a yeti you want to have a great quality camera if you're going to be recording yourself playing which is like a logitech c920 when it comes to editing if you can't afford a mac that's all right you know just get yourself a nice pc that can handle the power of your rendering from sony vegas or uh what is that uh power director and make sure you add some nice transitions, some nice effects, you know, a little bit of text on screen, um, banging music in your videos. A lot of people love to bob their heads as they're watching your videos and be you. Never create a facade that you can't keep up with or, you know, create a character within yourself that you eventually get tired of and try to stray away from. And then once you change, people ask why you're changing and, you know, you don't have an answer. You always want to be yourself. People will love you for who you are, not who you can act like. All right. So that was a successful episode one of this Q&A series boy am i tired i've been working all day on this bad boy trying to get it out to you guys on this great sunday but what i will say is if you guys are loving this series so far make sure you drop a like make sure you leave a comment telling me how much you like it and what you want to see in the next episode and if you want to leave me questions the, the instructions are definitely in the description but i'm gonna let you guys know that you can leave me a voicemail you can tweet me with the hashtag ask IKC or you could leave me a comment in this comment section. Uh, just make sure that, you know, around next week, Sunday, that you're free. I'll drop it around sometime around then. I want to thank you guys for showing up and I want to thank everybody that left me questions. And I hope that your question will get used for next week's episode. This is IKC signing out. I'm a holla. Peace.